Greetings, I'm Nathan and I will be your guide for this world tour of music. Grab your guitar and pocket your passport. We're off to Nashville to spend a little time with Brent Mason and learn more about Nashville style guitar. Famed for his country licks and chicken picking techniques, Brent is a Grammy Award winning artist who will be inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame this year. Discovered by legendary Chet Atkins, Brent has played on over a thousand albums with some of country music's biggest names, like George Strait, Alan Jackson, and even Shania Twain. Ready to disembark? Grab your guitar and let's dig in with Brent. Hi, I'm Brent Mason at jamplay.com, and uh, you just heard me solo over a country shuffle. Kind of had a Louisiana groove to it. Those are one of my favorite grooves to play. Basic chord progressions like one, ones, fours, fives, and back to four and one, you know, your standard 16 bar kind of thing. When I solo over a song like this, I'm always thinking of where it's going to go. A lot of bluesy single lines and uh, very rhythmic type licks, uh, maybe syncopated and triplets and that. And I try to keep an element of soul during it all. So it's, it's just an ebb and flow of all that. So I'm going to teach you guys three licks you can play in a song like this. Hi, I'm Brett Mason with jamplay.com, and uh, I'm going to explain my right hand picking technique a little bit. <laughs> it's pretty strange. My dad played uh, Merle Travis style, Chet Atkins style, which is uh, th what they call finger picking, thumb picking, and uh, so he would he would play with us just like a thumb and first finger on these kind of. playing bass notes and melody. So that's those are kind of the old thumb picking styles. So I started listening to a Jerry Reed album. My dad had gotten me a Jerry Reed album and uh, I was about 11 years old. And Jerry played with uh, thumb and all of his fingers except the pinky i don't know he might have used that on something but it was like uh especially thumb index middle and ring finger uh where merle travis and you know played with just uh thumb and first finger but chet and jerry played a lot of uh, different styles so i just kind of began with those jerry reed licks and uh, they all you know sounded so great because he was using his fingers his right hand so my my technique is uh if it's a downbeat i usually start with a downstroke on the thumb pick or the pick there and then i'll, I'll it rotates thumb middle finger th let's see it's not really a set pattern to it I've noticed myself doing different things now as far as the order of finger work, but it's down, thumb, ring finger, and then thumb, downbeat, and then middle finger. So you got... If it's a pickup or a 16th pickup, I'll find that I usually do an upstroke with my finger, like ring finger, and then a downbeat. So the downbeat always happens with the pick, usually, in most cases. So, unless it's a... Like that. 
So it's a back and forth thing. And uh, also because it's, it's great to do these claw things. You can do, um, you know. You know, you can do all these claw pick, picking um, techniques. And um, the thumb pick, sometimes I use that as a pick. You know, if I'm... You know, just like a flat pick kind of thing. This blue thumb pick, Herco thumb pick, works good as a, as a pick as well if you want to do rhythms and you need that strum. <laughs> Nice rakes and stuff like that, but that's that's kind of my uh, my technique. So it's it's not real mathematical, <laughs> but it works for me. Now we're going to jump to a second lick that's that's real cool to play when you go to the four chord or the D seven chord. We're in A. Uh, just two, three, four. This is also starts on the push beat. Uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> Let me do it a little faster. A one, two, three, four. It's got a little push at the end. Again, you're playing double stops. You're hitting an A note and a C note. Now, when you double stop those, and remember, it's a, it's on the push beat. Uh, you push into it, sixteenth push. This is the this is the cool thing. You bend that up a whole note till it reaches the B. So you got those two notes, uh, but you're playing them together. It's so quick, it comes back down. It's up, down. And as soon as you play those two notes, then you go to the next position, which, which is uh, the G and the B together. So you got... And then you play those, double stop those, and then... And then here's the quick uh, little double stop. You bend both of the notes, the... the the E note and the G note together, just about a half step. It's a quick little, just a little jerk in the a quick. And then you, then you hammer, no, I'm sorry, you pull off onto the D note. And that's the little triplet part. Hammer off onto the D and then play the B note. And as soon as you play the B note, Play the double stop there on the D again, which is the D and the uh, uh, F sharp. So you got one, two, three, four. Now, as soon as you play that last that, that last bit there, the C, I mean, yeah, I'm sorry, the D and the F sharp, slide it down. So you're in like a D9. So. Very slow. One, two, three, four. Now that's just half of it. It's gonna still continue on. So we got this. Now you play an A note, double stop the C, uh, but it's a D9, but you're playing a C note with an E note. So we got. And then we're going to do some little pull-offs here. So it'll be pulling off to the G and then to an open D. So, and then bend on an F note, semitone, and then an open D, C, bend up to the A. So you got one, two, three, four. back to the A. It's a little tricky, it's a little tough, because uh, you gotta hit those bends really fast. That's probably the, the, the most difficult move right there, you practice that. See, I wanna, I wanna like uh, study that just for a second and tell you that when you bend these two up, you're gonna pull off. You're kinda like back to the single notes for those triplets, cause it's hard to do them all with harmony. So, until you get to that, then you slide down. So, one, two, three, four. 
So now let's hear it with a track. 